Hello everyone, let's take a look at our next problem. The point on the circle x minus 5 squared plus y minus 4 squared equals 4, which is closest to the circle x minus 1 squared plus y minus 1 squared equals 1, is uh, one of the following four options. Um, okay, so first thing that comes to mind here is uh, just drawing a picture, right? We're given two equations which define circles in the plane. Um, we can explicitly read off the center and the radius of these circles. Um, now I'm going to assume that the circles do not intersect because otherwise uh, um, I mean almost certainly these circles don't intersect right because otherwise if they did um, we wouldn't have a point on the circle closest to another one. We would have one or more than one point uh, that are on both circles. So once I draw the picture, in fact, why don't I, I just start by drawing um, drawing a diagram of what's going on here. Um, the next thing I want to do in my approach is going to be draw a straight line that connects the centers of the circles. So I'm going to draw the bottom circle first. That's the one with a center at, at 1, 1 with a radius of 1. And then I also have one centered at 5, 4. So that's centered here with a radius of 2. I don't really need to draw the whole circle. I'll just draw the bottom half of it. Okay, um, and I'd like to, you know, the, the, the point which is, the point on the larger circle, which is closest to the other circle, is going to lie on the straight line which connects them. Um, so I think the approach I'm going to take, because it's probably most straightforward, is find the equation of this line, and then find where it intersects this circle. Okay, so let me just label all the points here. We have 1, 1, here we have 5, 4. Um, so first I'll find the equation of this line. So there's the equation of the line. Um, and what I think I'll do is I'll substitute um, I'll solve for y in terms of x. So it's just another way of writing uh, the equation of the line. And now what I'll do is I'll take the equation of the circle, um, which we're told the point is on the circle. And if I substitute this expression for y in here and expand, I should then just be able to solve for x using the quadratic formula. Um, and that'll give me the value of x here, but it'll also give me another value of x up there, which we're not concerned with. Um, that seems a little bit messy, actually, now that I look at it. But um, is there maybe another easy way of doing this? I don't know. I think I'm just going to proceed with that and um, see what happens. You know what? Will I... Uh, should I make should I expand first and then substitute? No, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep going like this. Okay, so as I went through uh, some of the algebra here, I noticed that keeping this as x minus five squared rather than expanding is probably going to be useful because when I simplify what's inside here, um, I get a multiple of x minus five squared, so a three over four. I've just factored out of both terms here. That becomes a 9 over 16. Um, yeah, and uh, hopefully this makes things a little bit easier. So uh, when I take a square root of both sides of this equation, I have to keep in mind that um, uh, I could be dealing with positive or negative square roots. But I'm only interested in one value of x, and I'm, I'm going to be interested in the value of x which is smaller not the one not the one which intersects the circle up here um, so that's gonna be the one corresponding to negative two here right i won't need to carry the positive two anymore 
So I get a value of x, which is 3.4. Uh, there's only one of the multiple choice options, which has an x value of 3.4. Um, but let's just check by going back to the equation of the line that when I let x equal 3.4, that the value of y does correspond to 2.8. Um, yeah. Yeah, so this, uh, this fraction does in fact equal 2.8. Um, so the point we're looking for, x, y, is, oops, it's the first option, 3.4, 2.8. Um, this point lies on the circle with radius 2, and it's the point which is closest to the other circle with radius 1. Um, yeah, fairly straightforward in the end. Um, you know, picturing the geometry uh, right from the beginning was probably um, one of the keys to this. Knowing that the points on two circles which are closest to each other are also going to lie on the line segment which connects their centers was another key to this question. Um, and then just making sure that I didn't make any mistakes with the algebra or arithmetic. If I find some kind of mistake or if I have more comments on this one, I'll put them in the description. Otherwise, thanks for watching.